what is up guru gang if you are new welcome to my channel and if you have been a part of the gang thank you so much for clicking back on to today's video today you guys i will be sharing with y'all my august perfume tray these are going to be the scents that i will be trying my best to focus on for the month of august the past few months have been very very hectic for me so i have not been super organized with my perfume tray like how i normally am i've just been grabbing and going and just picking up the things that i've been grabbing towards so a lot of these you guys may have either recently heard me speak about in my summer arabian fragrance video or my favorites video so i will have both of those linked up top in the cards if you are interested in checking those out but for the most part i just wanted to pick some fragrances that i have not been showing a lot of love to or some that i want to get more use out of before it starts to cool down for the fall i know a lot of the girls are posting the fall content and that's fine i am a fall girl as well but i live in atlanta and it's going to be in the 90s for the rest of august so for me that just means it's still summer and i'm still wearing summer scents i'm still enjoying the tropical summery vibes and that is what most of the scents on this tray are going to focus on so without further ado you guys let's go ahead and get into it so i'm going to actually start with my perfume oils like i usually do so the first perfume oil is zara's ombre inspiron i picked this up you guys from zara's most recent summer sale as well as a few other zara fragrances so if you guys are interested in seeing that let me know i do have a perfume haul coming up but i wasn't going to include the zara fragrances just because I think almost all of them sold out during the sale. So I wanted to get it up sooner, I'm sorry. But yeah, if you guys still wanna see the Zara fragrances included, let me know. But this is one of the oils. So this one, I will have the notes on the screen for all of these, by the way. I'm just trying to do this off memory. I saw this perfume oil being reviewed by Juice De Rose. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name on here. She reviewed all of these perfume oils and this is the one that spoke to me the most because she compared it to Lyra by Zhezhov which you guys know is like one of my top 10 fragrances for life I love that it is a very gourmand lemon caramel super sweet dense cake like scent I definitely get that vibe in here this kind of reminds me of like if Lyra were mixed with like some sort of gingerbread cookie type of vibe so this can very much be kind of like a fall fragrance but I feel like the kind of citrusy vibes that are in here make this still wearable in the hot weather and i'm definitely going to enjoy using this perfume oil as like a base layer for my gourmand combos i feel like the couple of times that i have worn it it did have decent longevity so i'm going to continue to play around with it and see how i feel about it and the other perfume oils from this line i think i'm going to wear closer to when it starts getting a little bit colder because those i feel have more of a fall winter vibe so yeah like i said if you guys want to see the rest of these are fragrances that i picked up recently let me know i will try my best to include those in my next fragrance haul which is already kind of big so yeah but moving on let me go ahead and show you guys the other perfume oils i will be using excuse how gross it looks guys there's some gunk on there because i usually mix this with a body oil of some kind or a lotion but this is the tom ford soleil blanc shimmering body oil this i use for the fragrance of course but i also use this kind of as like a body highlight like on top of my other moisturizing body oils because i've said before while i love this and i love the smell i just feel like it's not like a moisturizing body oil it's really just something to kind of give you a little bit of shimmer so i love to spray this on my chest spray this on my arms my legs any areas that are going to be exposed of course it just has the tom ford soleil blanc scent so if you love that kind of beachy sunscreeny coconutty type of vibe this is definitely a very heavy white floral and coconut fragrance i always get compliments anytime i wear this and this is just a very crowd pleasing scent to me like i don't think i know too many people who don't like tom ford soleil blanc so if you don't girl i'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know but um overall every time i wear this i always get compliments i always feel like i'm you know leaving some sort of luxurious spa or vacation and yeah i just love this oil so this is my actual this is actually my second time purchasing this so this small size lasts a really really long time 
I feel like this lasted me a good two summers before I had to repurchase this. So this is a newer bottle, but I will continue to repurchase this. And yeah, y'all know I have this as well as everything else linked in the description box if you guys are interested in shopping. All right, the next perfume oil I will be wearing is the Swiss Arabian Layali Rouge. You guys watched my Arabian fragrance video um, for the summer edition. I picked this up and I like this one the best of the two that I picked up. I'm still debating if I'm going to keep the other one, which is the, I want to say a Molly. It's the one with like the pinkish kind of flower, but I really, really like this one. And I feel like this one had more tropical notes. Like I'm pretty sure there's like mango and hibiscus in here. And I really get this very beautiful kind of like fruity type of scent. And I think this is going to be bomb just with any tropical perfume that I decide to wear or even anything that has vanilla. Like I feel like this is just going to be a bomb base layer and I haven't worn it too, too much. So I just want to get a little bit more wear out of it, kind of familiarize myself a little bit more with the scent. So I also want to show you guys how it comes out. Cause I feel like I showed you guys on camera in that other video, but it might not have been super clear. So if you guys can't tell, it's kind of like this glass wand. Hopefully that focuses. If not, I'm sorry, but it's a glass wand and that's how it comes out. And you pretty much just dab it onto your post points. So I think this is a really beautiful bottle. It's going to look really bomb on the vanity and I can't wait to get some more use out of this one. First actual fragrance it's going to be Soft by Aubrey Hobb. I feel like I've had this on a past tray. This is another scent that I talked about in part one of my Arabian fragrance rating video so I will have part one and part two linked um, in the description box or the cards or whatever but this one is a lemony cakey cotton candy type of scent and it really just reminds me of two perfumes it reminds me a lot of Lyra by Zhezhov but it also reminds me a lot of Aqualine's pink sugar because it just kind of has like this mixture between like a lemon whipped fluffy cotton candy cake like it has a lot going on but it just comes together really really nicely and surprisingly the couple of times that i did wear this you guys i had bomb longevity from this and y'all know these fragrances are super super affordable so i really do like this one and i do want to get some more wear out of it before it starts to cool down the next fragrance we will be talking about is utopia vanilla cocoa by Kayali. This is, I don't know why I have not been wearing this y'all. I feel like I did a layering video with this last summer and then I wore it a couple times and I just have not been wearing it since. So this was a love of mine at one point and I really just need to show her some more love because this is a beautiful creamy vanilla coconut white floral. I feel like with Kayali's fragrances, they really do get better the longer that you have them. So this has really gotten so much better since the first summer that I had this. Like I went back and smelled this again and I was like, oh my God, this smells amazing. Like it smelled good before, but it smells amazing. And I think I wore this to like go to the grocery store just to retest it out. And when I tell y'all I was getting stopped <laughs> left and right, like of people asking me, what I was wearing. I'm pretty sure I actually layered this with uh, Yara Taos, which I will talk about a little bit later in this video, but this is just beautiful. It's just the perfect balance of that creamy, sweet vanilla mixed with that kind of tropical coconut. Like it doesn't lean too far into the, you know, sunscreeny coconut type of territory. It does give me similar vibes to Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So this is probably something that I will wear with that shimmering body oil because I feel like it complements it well. But I feel like this just leans a little bit slightly more gourmand, more creamy, more warm, more feminine. So I really, really love this. It is a major compliment getter. Sephora has been sold out of this particular size for a while so I will link the size that they do still have available if you are interested in trying this. I don't know if they plan on restocking this size or not but yeah that just shows you how popular this was at one point in time. So yeah that is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa by Kayali. This is Erin's Amber Musk. So just a very amber musk heavy scent just like the name states but there's also a little bit of Ambroxan in here. There is coconut and there is rose so that just kind of gives it more of that super sweet feminine second skin type of vibe i will say this is not a screamer this is not a beast mode scent this is definitely an intimate you know something you want to wear when you don't want to be offensive like this will be bomb for like a job interview or 
I don't know why nursing home popped into my head, but if you're going to a nursing home, a doctor's office, if you work in the medical field and, you know, or you just work at a job where you don't, you're not allowed to wear things that are super beast mode and projecting, but you still want to have a scent if someone comes into your bubble. This is one of those types of scents. It's very pretty. It's very just feminine and inviting and warm. And I really, really like this. I think this is honestly a great year round scent, but the addition of that coconut, it's not like a super tropical coconut, but it more so just gives this scent more of like a creaminess. Just kind of makes this kind of mesh with those second skin like vibes and just makes this a really pretty easy to wear scent that always gets compliments so if you like bear by victoria's secret you would probably like this as well if you like the smell of amber or if you like the smell of that clean second skin musk i definitely think this is one you should check out All right and last in the first row you guys we have skylar's coconuts cove another fragrance that is just a really easy reach in the summertime i found myself throwing this on to either work out or if i'm like going and running an errand or something or if if I'm just gonna be outside not really doing too much but I just want something that smells really fresh and clean this is a coconut scent but I believe there's also hibiscus in here that kind of gives it like this tropical vibe but it's just, overall this is still a very clean powdery coconut I would say like this is not super super tropical fruits and you know gourmand coconut but this is definitely more on the fresh clean vibe and it just makes you feel like you just have it all together when you throw this on this is definitely not something that you you know would want to wear if you're like trying to get attention or something like that this is really just one of those i smell good i just washed my clothes <laughs> type of vibes so yeah i have definitely gotten compliments on the scent don't get me wrong but this is definitely not something that I'm gonna reach for if I'm like going on a date or if I'm going out or going to like some sort of special event. This is just one of those throw on and go clean scents if you're going to, you know, do something active or something like that. So this is definitely a bomb summer staple for those everyday occasions. I definitely really, really enjoy this one. If you love those clean, powdery coconut type of scents, I definitely think this is one worth checking out. Moving on to the second row. So this is Moschino's Toy 2. I have not really worn like that. And I feel like the reason that I have not worn it is because it reminds me a lot of another scent that I was wearing a ton last summer, which is Versace Arrow's Pore Femme. I feel like this definitely is in that same kind of territory. So this is again, kind of that everyday throw on and go type of scent that would be bomb in hot weather or like going to the gym or something like that, going to an amusement park. This has apple, I believe there's like some sort of citrus. I wanna say either lemon or orange or something in the opening, but then there's also a hint of this floral vibe as well. And I wanna say there's also musk in here, but when I wear this, you guys, this really just smells very clean a little bit fruity but more so just this really fun citrusy clean type of scent so this is definitely something that will be inoffensive it's very crowd pleasing this is a great giftable scent to someone who's a little bit younger i think i just picked this up because i was in the mood for something easy to throw on and go that wasn't like super floral forward but also wasn't super sugary sweet and i feel like this is kind of a great balance between the two if you like a fresh scent that just has a little bit of sweetness if if you like a fruity scent that's not overly sweet this is definitely a great kind of meat in the middle meeting of the minds type of vibe also reminds me a lot of versace yellow diamond but just less heavy on those florals and it just has this kind of citrusy sweet like i think almost kind of like apple juice like tart apple juice but like with a little bit of a feminine floral white floral kick to it so yeah i definitely really like this one i want to get more familiar with it see how much it how long it lasts and things like that because like as y'all can see i really just have not been wearing this one because i've been showing other scents in my collection that remind me of this a little bit more love next one is club de noe imperial by armoff this is another fragrance that i just recently talked about in my arabian fragrance video and this is pretty much the same scent profile as delina exclusive so 
this opens with a very bright juicy lychee and then it's pretty much predominantly a very creamy vanillic rose type of scent and y'all this smells incredible okay if you want to smell like delina exclusive for a fraction of the price please get this because not only is it loud it's beast mode it lasts the compliments that i've gotten when i've worn this have been insane um this also layers beautifully with vanilla fragrances it layers beautifully with fruity fragrances it layers beautifully with musky fragrances like this is one of those perfumes that i can layer with so many things and it just smells gorgeous it smells beautiful it smells feminine it smells like I got it together, girl. Like this is one of those scents. So if you are a Delina or Delina exclusive lover and you are looking for something in the same family to wear when you do not feel like wearing your expensive scents, girl, I understand. I think this is definitely one worth checking out. So again, this is Club de Nuit Imperial. You can pick this up on Amazon. Um, I will have it linked in the description box with everything else, girl. But yeah, you also get a lot for your money. Like this is a 3.6 fluid ounce bottle y'all and this thing is heavy next one is going to be latafa's quad all for sun now if you have seen any of my recent content i'm sure you've seen me talk about this in my past two or three videos a couple of shorts like this one is bomb for the summer okay when i first picked this up um i was getting a lot of pineapple and i find that i make this mistake a lot with these middle eastern fragrances to where i won't spray it on my skin um i'll spray it in a box i'll spray it on an article of clothing and i'll like it but you really don't get the full experience for these middle eastern fragrances until you do two things okay the first thing is very very important y'all <laughs> but you really want to spray these fragrances in either a box or an article of clothing or something a few times just to spray it out and let a little bit of air get into the bottle and then you want to put it away and just let it macerate let it sit i i would recommend at least a month right <laughs> at least a month but for a lot of these middle eastern fragrances you guys i have gotten them and even for the ones that i've liked they just get better over time because all of the notes and things like that especially if it has a vanilla in it they just get better so that's what I experienced with this one when I first got this one you guys it really just was super pineapple heavy and I love pineapple but a lot of people who I had seen review this were comparing this to like a gourmand coconut ice cream type of vibe I'm still not getting a coconut ice cream however I get the coconut and the pineapple in the opening but as it dries down I'm definitely getting that creamy vanillic lactonic vibe this has just been a bomb layering fragrance for me in the summer this is also just something easy to throw on and go so if you are looking for a tropical pineapple coconut fragrance this is definitely a great affordable option option to check out and like I said I definitely think you should give it some time to macerate a little bit of course we're already in the middle of summer so I'm sure you're gonna want to wear it right away but I definitely think this is probably gonna smell even better next summer I absolutely love this scent the more that I wear it the more that I fall in love with it and this is also another major compliment getter as well Definitely gives me pina colada vibes and it's just super tropical, super coconutty, pineapple-y, all of the good tropical things. Um, and I think this will be bomb for a vacation, bomb for a summer date. Like this is just a bomb layering fragrance, like I said. And I cannot wait to wear this a lot more, experiment with this, and give you guys some of the combos that I've come up with while wearing this. So yeah, that is Latafa's Quad All for Sun. And, oh, this is the unlimited version, by the way. There is one in the black bottle. That is just the original quad offers on. I have heard so many mixed reviews on that one. I think I'm just going to stay away from that one because for the most part, a lot of people consider that one to be more masculine. And I just have not had the best experience with masculine leaning Middle Eastern fragrances. So I decided to just not pick that one up. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This is one of my favorites. At one point, I would have considered this one of my top 10 perfumes for life. I don't know if this is still in the top 10, but she's still up there. Um, this is Mont Blanc Signature. This is the original. I know that there's a new one out. I just have not got around to trying it, but 
a lot of the reviews that I have seen have pretty much said that this one is better. But basically, you guys, this is just a creamy lactonic citrus scent. I love a citrusy vanilla or lemon cream, orange cream. Like those are all up my alley. I just love those. I love how they sit on my skin. And this has the added musk in here that just makes this not only a sweet, creamy citrus, but also gives it that sexy second skin type of vibe. In the summer, in the hot weather, most of the time I'm not into anything that's super, super loud in beast mode. I really am into those sexy second skin with a touch of sweetness type of fragrances, especially in the daytime. So this absolutely fulfills that craving. It's just one that I have loved for years now. And I think once I finish this bottle, I probably won't repurchase it just because I feel like fragrances can grow with us and then we grow out of them and I think I'm reaching that point with this as much as I love this and this is still my ideal scent profile. I don't want to continuously repurchase the same fragrances that I have that I have for years like I do feel like I need to find a new fave to replace this one. I always get a compliment when I'm wearing this so there's that again this is still a bomb scent. I just feel like I'm growing out of it, so I do want to go ahead and try to use this bottle up. Moving on, and since we're talking about favorites, y'all, this is like my favorite every summer since it has come out. This is actually my second bottle, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm halfway through this bottle. So this is Mugler's Alien Goddess. This is the original. I have done a full review on the Alien Goddess Intense, which I was really just not a fan of that one compared to this one. I feel like this one is is just more my speed this one is just sweeter than the intense and it's just not super heavy on the jasmine like the intense is this focuses definitely a lot more on the coconut and the vanilla which as you guys could see those are just my favorite notes in the summer i just love smelling like a creamy coconut milkshake like <laughs> that's just my vibe okay. this one you guys heavily complimented amazing gorgeous it's a little gourmand, but again, the white florals that are in here really amplify that and really just give it a sexy goddess-like vibe. Like this literally smells like the name. This just makes me feel so sexy, so alluring. I get compliments from men and women alike when I wear this. I remember I wore this to work one day last summer, and this is just a compliment <laughs> that I remember because it just was funny to me, but... I wore this to work one day and I was working outside on the patio. If you guys don't know, I bartend. So in the summer, of course, people want to sit on the patio. I was working outside on the patio. I was passing someone a drink and this lady literally said, oh my God, you smell like shea butter and brown sugar. And I don't know how she pulled that from this scent. Maybe it's just how it sits on my skin because again, this scent does go super sweet on my skin this is just one of those scents that is just captivating super alluring like if i had to recommend one summer fragrance for someone who likes sweet feminine fragrances it would be this because i just feel like this just it just hits the nail on the head for me for everything that i would want in a summer fragrances that if you needed something for the daytime or for the nighttime this absolutely fits the bill so yeah that is Mugler's alien goddess 10 out of 10 cent for me, absolutely love her and will forever repurchase until I get tired of it. <laughs> Speaking of tried and trues that I need to finish, <laughs> this is Cherosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. This is the original um, perfume. So I know that they have actually reformulated this and come out with the perfume again because there was a lot of talk and complaining and feedback um, that this did not have the longest longevity. And I can definitely agree with that. I have not tried the new perfume, like the reformulated version of this to know if it has been fixed. But honestly, once I finish this, I am cool just buying the mist, the body mist and not splurging on the perfume because honestly the mist smells just like this. I really do wanna go ahead and, and try my best to finish this bottle up. I do think that I can do that because I typically overspray this when I wear it. But basically, you guys, this is just a very warm, this is a pistachio forward scent. It's caramelly. It's a little bit creamy and vanillic. And this just, this just smells like summer. This just smells like summer. It smells beachy. It smells gourmand. It smells like you have a tan. It smells like you have body glitter on. Like, 
that is what this smells like to me and it smells bomb it's heavily complimented again I feel like most of these scents you guys are heavily complimented scents <laughs> um but this one especially and this is also another bomb layering fragrance for the summer like this is one of those scents that goes with a lot of other summer scents so i definitely can see myself finishing this i'm going to try my best to finish this in the month of august so that i can go ahead and get it out of my collection and make room for some other things this is probably one of the few pistachio scents i have left in my collection because i have decluttered the other ones that i had i asked you guys this in a video i think one of my last few videos but I have decluttered a lot more perfumes since my last declutter video and they have already either sold or been given away so i was deciding if i wanted to even do another declutter video but i don't know i'm just kind of considering doing like a declutter video of everything that's already gone so if you guys will be interested in that let me know um i will try my best to fit that in but yeah i'm getting off track that is chirosa 62 by soul de next one is one that was on my last tray this is orientica's royal amber a very similar scent profile to jerzhoff's herba pura so if you like that type of scent then you will probably like this i really really love this you guys i feel like when i first got this i still liked it but again like i said with these arabian fragrances they just get so much better over time when i first picked this up i was getting just a lot of that pineapple juicy fruitiness and i feel like the longer that i have this the more often that i wear this i get more of the woody accords and more of that creamy vanilla so this would be even though this is a bomb summer scent i'm also thinking that this is going to be a bomb transitional scent to the fall because i'm definitely starting to get a lot more of that woody vibe but i'm still getting that creamy vanilla musk combo that i really really like mixed with the tropical fruit and this just smells really good this does bomb in the heat the longevity is also really good it's got a great little sillage and scent bubble and the bottle the bottle itself is just bomb y'all like this bottle just looks so beautiful on a vanity or whatever else you store your perfumes in this just looks so good and as you guys can see i have a nice size dent in here considering i just recently got this in maybe the last six months or so so yeah i have been reaching for her a lot in the hot weather and i will continue to do so in the month of august next one is going to be a tarab al dahab i can't remember the name of the fragrance house that this came from and i don't see it on the bottle anywhere so of course i will have that in the description box below instead of trying to search for this but this is another scent that i have recently spoken about another heavy coconut milk lime and white floral scent there is also nutmeg in here i believe there's something in here that um is sweetening this fragrance up so when i first smelled this again this is a scent that you really do need to let macerate when i first smelled this i got this very artificial syrupy sweet almost like lime syrup like think like the artificial margarita mix like that's kind of what i was getting and it smelled nice but it kind of hit me in the face a little bit and i was a little intimidated to actually wear this on my skin because i was like i don't know girl that's gonna give me a headache but this is definitely a scent that you want to wear on skin because when i put it on my skin i did still get that syrupy sweet artificial like lime juice type of vibe but as it dried down i definitely started to get a lot of that very sweet nutmeg coconut milk and vanilla in here and it just started to smell really really good so i'm excited to play around with this one a little bit more and do some layering combos and see how i truly feel about it because this is definitely still a very tropical summery scent and the time for me to wear this is now so i guess i will decide at the end of the month if i'm going to keep this but so far i think i'm coming around to it a lot more the more that i wear this is ana abied poudre and this one is basically the vanilla musky powdery version um, or flanker of all of the Ana Abiyeds. There are a couple other versions, but this is the one that spoke to me the most because I love sweet, powdery, musky, vanillic fragrances. And that is what this is, you guys. This smells incredible, okay? This smells incredible. If you love um, scents like the original Narciso Rodriguez or the one in the white bottle, I can't remember what the original one was, but the one in the white bottle, those powdery, musky, vanilla scents, this smells so good this literally smells like some sort of 
whipped cream with like powdered sugar and musk <laughs> like i know that sounds really weird but it just wears so beautifully in the summer so beautifully in the heat and it just gives a gourmand sexy second skin so and some of you guys have also tried this and have told me you guys love this too this is heavily complimented this is also a really big man magnet like something about musky vanillas i don't know does something to men i don't know if it's just the musk mixed with vanilla because a lot of men probably won't admit to this but i think a lot of men naturally gravitate towards women wearing musky scents because it just smells like a woman like musk just kind of vibes with that whole pheromone type of thing so i think that mixed with the sweetness of vanilla is just is very captivating for men specifically so yeah this is no different i have layered this with a few things and i have gotten non-stop compliments every single time and the best part about this fragrance you guys she is very very affordable so i definitely think this is worth checking out um i originally said i was not going to pick up the other flankers of these just because i have other scents in my collection that they're supposed to be scents that they're you know modeled after but some of you guys convinced me to try the original Ana Abiyad because it's supposed to smell similar in scent but better than Herba Pura. So I'm going to try it out. I will let you guys know. I might have it in a future perfume haul. We will see. But as of now, this one is my girl. This is signature scent worthy for me. And I'm honestly considering getting a backup just to have so it can already be macerating when I fly through this. Down one. to the last row. So Yara Taos, Yara Taos. So I have done a couple of shorts on this and spoken about this in some videos as well, but this is the newest flanker in the Yara line. Now, honestly, y'all, I was not super impressed with this when I got this. This scent is so new, like hot off the press. I knew that this needed some time to macerate for me to truly form my full opinion. And honestly, I've already started to fall in love with this more, right? So I've done a whole just 180 with the Yara range because the original Yara in the pink bottle, I'm still not 100% in love with. I never really hated it, but I never really was obsessed with it like a lot of the girls are on YouTube. But I do still own it. I've done a couple of layering combos with it and I think I'm going to keep it. Yara in the white bottle. I don't know. I'm starting to not really vibe with that one. I wanted to put it on this tray number one because it matched the white and gold vibes. But the last few times that I wore it, y'all, the patchouli was what I smelled the most. And I normally don't mind patchouli, but it was really bothering me in that one. So I don't know if I'm going to keep the white Yara, but back to Yara Tao. So this one, this is a mango, passion fruit, coconut, vanillic type of scent. And as I've stated before, this reminds me a lot of Paco Rabanne's fame, but I feel like this one, you definitely get more of that fruity, juicy, mango, passion fruit combo. I think the addition of the passion fruit is what makes this smell sweeter and juicier because sometimes with mango, it can mix in with the other notes and just give kind of like this creamy feel which i feel like is what happened with paco Rabanne's fame i do still love paco Rabanne's fame but i feel like i just wish i got more of the sweet juiciness of the mango and not as much of that jasmine but i feel like in this one even though i'm still getting the jasmine and the floral vibes i feel like that mixture of mango and passion fruit with the vanilla really warms this up and makes it super juicy and i have been really enjoying this so every time i wear it i just fall a little bit more in love with it so I'm excited to keep playing around with this and give you guys some layering combos if you guys have picked this up. So if you guys have tried the newest Yara Flanker, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to know. Next on the tray, y'all, is Coco Vanille by Mancera. This is one of my faves from Mancera. This is a, again, <laughs> coconut heavy fragrance. I'm getting all of my coconut vibes out of my system this month so that I can start to transition to fall next month okay so just bear with me but this is this opens up with coconut and peach but then there's also just some tropical florals in here and some vanilla so this is definitely a super gourmand like warm just kind of meaty fleshy coconut and I think the peach really just adds more of that brightness more of that juiciness so when i wear this even though i get more so just a very 
creamy vanillic coconut i think the peach also just makes the smell a lot sweeter a lot more feminine and really warms up the fragrance for me so i really enjoy this one this one is just bomb with so many different combos that i have done um and this is another heavy complimented fragrance as well so if you are looking to get into the house of mancera and you like coconut scents i definitely think this is one worth checking out this is definitely a crowd pleasing scent um and it leans a little bit more gourmand out of the next fragrance that I'm going to show you from Mantera that is also a heavy coconut scent as well but yeah this is just a love of mine and I need to put a bigger dent in her it's just really hard with Mancera's to put dent in them y'all because they always usually have really great performance in sillage so you don't really need a ton and the bottles are four fluid ounces so this kind of gives you a better accurate picture of how much I've actually used. But either way, y'all, I need to use it a little bit more. So yeah, she will be on the tray. I've already been using her this summer, but I need to put a bigger dent in this for sure. The next scent on the tray is gonna be Man Sarah Holidays. A lot of people kind of get confused in regards to this one versus Coco Vanille because they do share a lot of similar notes. But for me, Holidays definitely leans more towards that Tom Ford Soleil Blanc sunscreeny, you know, spa like coconut that kind of smells like you are just on a tropical resort and you're walking through the resort, you're getting the beach air, you're getting whatever scent that they have in the lobby mixed with some sort of spa like vibe. Like that is what this smells like to me. And the coconut is more so a perfumey coconut if that makes sense so it definitely goes closer to that sunscreen type of vibe this is also a room filler beast mode scent i feel like with coco vanille i can overspray and it won't be too cloying it won't be too in your face but with mancera's holidays y'all this you have got to be careful because this definitely can choke somebody out so in addition to those kind of beachy coconutty nuances in that um, those yellow florals this also has some aquatic notes and a little bit of seesaw i believe this again is just giving you that full beachy experience it's not super gourmand i would say the coconut is really just more of a supporting role where it's there but it's just adding to the overall tropical spa like vibe of this perfume so yeah this is another one that is heavily complimented this is also pretty unisex i would say it leans more feminine but i think that sea like salty ocean type of vibe that's in here definitely makes this a little bit more unisex and it's a bomb layering scent so i think i wore this on vacation as well and i layered this with another vanilla fragrance and it was really bomb if you like paco rabanne's olympea this kind of gives me that vibe just not as much vanilla so yeah definitely love this fragrance highly recommend this for the summer it just is a perfect vacation scent this is bdk's passe soir this is a, another fragrance that I recently spoke about on my last favorites video. And y'all, I have just fallen completely in love with this scent. I need the extrait. Okay, the extrait was just released. I need the extrait because my only issue with this fragrance, before I even tell you guys about the notes and everything else, I don't feel like it lasts that long. I don't feel like it lasts that long. Really just wish that this had a longer, you know, whatever, because I really just feel like I had to bring a atomizer of this. I had to bring it with me so that I continue to touch it up. But the scent itself, y'all, so bomb. Again, I will have the notes on the screen because I always forget what the notes that are that are in here um but i'm pretty sure it's got like opening notes of kints and black pepper but to me you guys this just smells so good it has kind of this sparkling quality like it almost just reminds me of champagne or something and it just smells so feminine it smells so classy it smells chic this literally smells like if I were to go take a vacation in like Santorini or something, this is the scent that I would bring. Like that's the vibe it gives me. It smells clean, but it also smells sweet. It's sparkling. It smells like, it just smells like a freshly opened glass of like the finest, I don't know, champagne, Prosecco. Like that's just the vibe that it gives me. And I don't even think there's necessarily a sparkling note in here. I think it's just how the how the Keens is mixed with 
the black pepper that's giving it that quality this is just so good y'all this is so good if you like goldfield and banks sunset hour this is in the same realm as that or kind of like valentino donna born in roma without that bourbon vanilla it's just so beautiful y'all i just absolutely am obsessed with this i literally just got this bottle this summer and i put that size dent in it so there's that again i love this this is absolutely a year-round scent too but I just feel like it's bomb for the vibes that I'm trying to capture this summer. So yeah. Last on the tray. And I'm so sorry about the lighting. Hopefully you guys can still see. But it's about to rain here. And I have been using my natural light directly in front of the window. Um, but, you know, it's just summer storm season, unfortunately. So we are about to be getting hit hard with some thunderstorms. But the last thing on the tray, as you guys can see, I have already been wearing her quite a lot this summer. And this is Paco Rabanne's Olympia. Last summer, I really just did not reach for it i don't know why and i was really close to decluttering it but i sprayed it on the beginning of the summer and i was like yeah no i need to give some more wear out of her this is just a very syrupy sweet salty vanilla but it also again has kind of those spa like vibes like this in holidays from mancera they definitely i feel like pay little homages to each other whereas this one is heavier on a salty vanilla the holidays is heavier on like a salty tropical coconut floral kind of vibe so yeah this definitely gives me that sweet gourmand vibe but not super literal it's just one of those salty vanillas and it just smells a bomb on skin this i was layering with the sol de janeiro um the fermeza oil Y'all, when I tell you I was smelling so freaking good, because this already just has that super syrupy, almost caramelized vanilla type of smell. I don't know, but this is another one that is just heavily complimented by men as well. And I just absolutely love this. I do want to try some of the other Olympia flankers. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, and I need to get through this bottle first <laughs> before I try any of the other ones. So yeah, I absolutely have been loving this one for summer nights. This just gives me that summer night out vibe, and I'm going to continue to wear it all through the month of August. So yeah. All right, you guys, that is my August perfume tray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you also liked the format of this in comparison to my other per uh, perfume trays, you guys let me know. I definitely enjoy Enjoy the off camera vibes because sometimes it takes a lot to get myself ready to be on camera <laughs> so yeah if you guys like this style definitely let me know in the comments below let me know if you guys have any of these since in your collection if you want to try any of these but of course y'all know I'll have these linked in the description box as well if any of these piqued your interest and you want to shop i greatly appreciate anyone who shops my links also do not forget to subscribe girl okay but that is it for today's video you guys and i will see y'all in my next one bye